Found in the Australian Bureau of Statistics, there is 22.68 million people living in Australia today, and we all have one thing in common, and that's the obsession to try and fit into society. Either it is buying the new trend in fashion, upgrading technology, or watching the next box office movie, there has always been one obsession that never seems to fade, and that's dieting. Either it is trying out the new superfoods, going on crazy diets, or drowning ourselves in supplement drinks to try and lose those extra kilos. As a society, we are obsessed in trying to look our best. The media in today's society does have a major impact on people's lives, especially on teenagers. There are more than 95% of teenagers from the ages of 12 to 18 years of age who experience the social media in their own social and emotional lives. Teenagers being exposed to different social networking sites that provide dieting tips of celebrities or even the inspiration pages glorifying unrealistic standards of beauty which manipulates teenagers to think that being thin will make them feel loved and accepted just like celebrities. Teenagers who conduct into extreme diets to reach model weight lead into the path of an eating disorder. Eating disorder is a dangerous mental illness and is not a lifestyle choice or a diet fad gone wrong. Disordered eating is a disturbance and unhealthy eating pattern that can include restrictive, dieting, compulsive eating or skipping meals. Eating disorders have commonly related to anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder and other specific eating disorders that include fasting or chronic restraint eating, self-induced vomiting, laxative or diuretic misuse and obsessively exercising. Eating disorders have a significant and misjudged impact on Australian society. Research shows that eating disorders are increasingly significantly in Australian society. Eating disorders are estimated to affect approximately 9% of the population. Anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa are affected between 2% and 4% of the population. However, unfortunately 2% of females may have undiagnosed eating disorders. To understand how fatal these illnesses are, the risk of premature death for women with anorexia nervosa is 6 to 12 times higher than the general population and is higher than any other psychiatric disorder. Eating disorders also represent the second leading cause of mental disor disorder disability in young females. Depression is also developed throughout having an eating disorder and research from National Eating Disorders Collaboration indicates that one in five individual anorexic sufferers who die due to suicide. With a little darkness, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, and there's always hope. It is possible to recover from an eating disorder, and with the right support and treatment and a high level of personal commitment, your body can learn to function to its full capacity again. Seeking help from a GP with a specialised knowledge in health and nutrition can assist you in reversing and out-reversing effects of a disordered eating and restoring emotional and mental and physical health.